Unit 3, Lesson 1 The Solar Eclipse We know the shadow of tree and its importance to man. It hides the direct sun rays and so we feel a moderate temperature. Or when we use the umbrella on summer's day, I feel a moderate temperature. We know that the light travel in a straight line and if a dark object like tree or the umbrella gets in the way of light a shadow is formed for this object we also know that the earth revolve around the sun in oval orbit and the moon revolve around the earth in oval orbit so when the moon gets between the sun and the earth in one straight line it hides the sunlight from reaching the earth and forming shadow so the solar eclipse occur solar eclipse it is astronomical phenomena which occur when the earth the moon the sun are nearly in one straight line with the moon in the middle the moon casts its shadow on the earth hiding the sun rays from a part of the earth How does the solar eclipse occur? Formation of real shadow, Kuhn shadow, called Umbra, and another area of semi shadow between the light area and the real shadow called the penumbra. If you put your eyes in semi shadow area and you look in the direction of light source, you will see only a part of it. A part of the sun light appear if you put your eyes in the real shadow area your umbra and look in the direction of the light source you can see the sunlight source so the Kuhn shadow umbra it is a dark inner shadow the dark inner shadow in the total solar eclipse which we can see the sunlight completely and the penumbra it is a faint outer shadow when in which the partial solar eclipse appear in this area we can see part of the sunlight only but if you move a pole like the moon farther from the screen or from the earth the Kuhn shadow umbra doesn't reach the earth like this but it cast a negative shadow antambra negative shadow which is antambra you can see the light source you can sorry you can see the light source as a lighted ring also a semi shadow area is formed in which you can see a part of the light source the solar eclipse phenomena occur when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, casting its shadow on the earth's surface. The type of solar eclipse change according to the distance between the moon and the earth during its rotation in its oval orbit around the earth. Types of solar eclipse. Solar eclipse takes 7 minutes and 40 seconds we can observe more than one type of eclipse during the passage of the moon in front of the sun the first type total solar eclipse it is a type of solar eclipse which we can see the sun completely and is formed in the umbra area of the moon so we can see the sun light completely but the partial solar eclipse and the second type it is a type of solar eclipse in which we can see a part of the sun and form it in the semi-shaded area lower which is Ben Umbra like this we can see part of the sunlight only and the third type annular solar eclipse it is a type of solar eclipse in which the sun appear as a lighted ring and it is formed when the moon is in a higher orbit from the air so it its cone shadow doesn't reach the air like this
the three types of solar eclipse disappear completely in total solar eclipse part of the Sun disappear in the partial solar eclipse and another solar eclipse the Sun appear as a lighted ring safety precautions on observing the solar eclipse doctors warn of direct observation of the Sun as its rays harm the eyes and it can lead it can lead to blindness within a few minutes also the Sun glow in the solar eclipse is weak so as to focus looking directly at the Sun it affects the eyes in general or the retina this is because the outer solar corona keeps on emitting harmful rays to the eye like ultraviolet and infrared rays that affect on the retina and causes blindness the special glasses are used to observe the solar eclipse hi I'm Emerald Robinson in this what is video we're going to take a closer look at solar eclipses a solar eclipse occurs when the new moon passes between the Earth and the Sun. For a few brief moments, the moon's shadow blocks sunlight from reaching the Earth. A total solar eclipse completely blocks our view of the Sun, while a partial solar eclipse only covers part of the Sun. Solar eclipses are rare events and only last for a few minutes, as the moon's shadow is small in comparison to the Sun. Astronomers can predict when eclipses will occur based on the Earth and Moon's positions relative to the Sun. Solar eclipses only occur during new moons when the moon's surface is in shadow. During an eclipse, the temperature may drop due to the loss of sunlight. Stars may appear in the sky and birds may start singing, tricked into thinking it's either dawn or evening. Solar eclipses were met with fear in ancient times and are still viewed as unlucky in some parts of the world. Astronomers view solar eclipses with excitement. During a total solar eclipse, the sun's corona is visible surrounding the moon's shadow. The corona is the outer atmosphere of the sun. Much cooler than the sun, the corona is not normally visible to the eye. During an eclipse, it's also possible to see solar prominences, streams of solar material ejected from the sun's surface. Looking directly at the sun may result in permanent eye damage and even blindness. A total solar eclipse only covers the entire sun for a few moments, and even during this time, directly viewing the eclipse with the naked eye risk eye damage. Astronomers advise not taking the risk, view the entire eclipse through special eye protection and filters, and then you can truly enjoy one of the sky's most spectacular displays. For thousands of how-to and advice videos on any topic, visit monkeysee.com.